Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp and to the video series about the most important R commands for genomic analysis or if you just want to use R for fun. This short video is about one of the most beautiful features of R and R tidyverse, which is the and then command or the pipe command. Maybe I'm getting a bit too personal here, but I fell in love with R tidyverse and the two main reasons why this was or why this happened. First one was the pipe commands. The other one is the clarity of the commands and the function names. We will get to those ones uh, a bit later, but today or in this video, we will discuss the pipe commands. And the pipe command itself is a series of characters, the percentage mark higher than percentage mark. So these three characters here and here. So these are, this is the pipe and should appear together all the time. What it does is that it takes the input from its left side and passes it on to its right side, or in this case, to the next line. This is extremely beneficial because you don't need to create additional data sets, temporary data sets for each and every step, but you can basically just design the workflow and look up the end product of it. Here I put together a very short analysis where we start with the penguins data set from the Palmer penguins uh, package. So we need to actually load the Palmer penguins data set and also because the pipes themselves are the part of the tidyverse package. So we also need to load the tidyverse. So the library tidyverse and library Palmer penguins needs to be run before all this will work. But then what we do is we take the penguins data set and then we filter some rows. In this case, we just filter the Gen2 penguins and then we do a basic statistical summary or a basic statistics of this data set. After we run this part, we see that there is the end product, but what we wanted, there are no additional or temporary data sets created and we still end up with the result we want. To me, coming from the base R background and also maybe a little bit of bad habit of creating all too many temporary files, this change and this pipe command is really, really beautiful. So if you use tidyverse, get used to it, use it, it is really worth it. For now, thank you for your time and check out also the other videos about the most important R commands.